I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on trigonometry. The question is, if tan x plus sin x equals to m and tan x minus sin x is equal to n, show that m square minus n square equals to 4 times square root of mn. Okay, so let's first find what is m square minus n square is equal to, correct? Okay. So we are given m is tan x plus sin x. So I'll write this as tan x plus sin x whole square, right? Since m is tan x plus sin square minus n square means tan x minus sin x whole square. So that is m square minus n square, correct? Now, if I square this <coughs> and then... Uh, work it out, what do I get? So I get tan squared x plus 2 tan x sine x plus sine squared x, correct? So that is this part. Take away, we have tan squared x minus 2 tan x sine x plus sine squared x. So if you take away this thing from that, then <clears throat> tan squared x, tan squared x cancels, sine squared x, sine squared x cancels. We are left with 2 tan x sine x plus 2 tan x sine x, right? So we are left with 4 tan x sine x. Is it okay? So that is the left side for us, 4 tan x sine x. Now, let us figure out what is... 4 times square root of mn. Is it also 4 tan x sin x? Let's do that. So now we'll calculate what is 4 square root of m times n. Is it okay? So let's calculate this out now. So what we have is 4 times m will do square root. m is all this, which is tan x plus sin x times n is tan x minus sin x square root, right? Now this is a plus b times a minus b. So I could write this as tan square x minus sin square x. We have to only show that this is square root part is tan x sin x. Then we are done, right? <clears throat> so let's write tan in terms of sine and cosine. Uh, and then see, right? We have to simplify this. So we have 4 square root of tan square x could be written as sine square x over cos square x. And we have minus sine square x. So we can take cos square x common denominator. And the numerator, sine square x is common, right? So we could write this as sine square x. Then we have 1 minus cos square x will get multiplied there. So I'm cutting down one step here, actually. Okay. I hope that doesn't bother you much. So what I did was, if I take cos square x as the denominator, sine square x get multiplied by cos square x. And then you take sine square x common, you get 1 minus cos square x. Do you get it? Okay. Now, <coughs> 1 minus cos square x is sine square x. So we get here is 4 sine. So we have sine square x times, this is also sine square x. Sine square x over cos square x. Do you see that? Okay. So we have 4. <coughs> now, all these are square terms, so I could open the bracket and then write this as sine x over cos x times sine x, right? So I can write this as sine x over cos x times sine x. Sine x over cos x is tan x. We get 4 tan x times sine x. Is that okay? So what do you observe? In part 1, we got m square minus n square as 4 tan x sine x. And in part 2, we got the same thing, right? Since both are equal, both are equal, correct? 
So we can say that m square minus n square is 4 times square root mn. I hope that is clear, right? So have a look at it, how we did it. And I hope uh, you understand and appreciate it. Thanks for watching and all the best.